Hello everyone, this is Cornelius Fichtner from the Project Management Podcast. This is a special edition of our podcast because, as you've probably noticed, there wasn't a regular episode that you received over the weekend. And that is because, well, (laughs) of this special edition right here, right now. Because we are giving away... 20 books. Last year, Peter Taylor wrote a book entitled The Lazy Project Blogger, and most of his profits went to charity. We went ahead and we purchased 20 of these books, and we are now giving them away to you, our listeners. As always, we give away half of the books that we have to our premium listeners. So if you are a premium project management podcast listener, nothing you have to do. You're automatically signed up for this giveaway here. And if you are listening to the free project management podcast and you would like to take a chance and win one of these books, then please go to Facebook, to our Facebook fan page, which is at facebook.com slash PM podcast and look for the giveaway of these 10 books or rather 20 books. Simply put a comment onto that Facebook post and you thereby get a chance of winning the book. And now let's hear what Peter and I talked about in December when we first came up with the idea of giving away these 20 books to you. Hello, Peter. Welcome back to the podcast. Hey, it's great to be back again. Thank you. So your new book is titled The Lazy Blogger. Uh, This title kind of sounds as if you're trying to now help bloggers to write their blog posts in the lazy project manager fashion. Is that it? (laughs) Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I hadn't actually (laughs) thought of that, actually. It uh, it came from me uh, writing my own blogs and and thoroughly enjoying so many great blogs from project managers around the world. Um, and I just, as I was, I was writing a, a few blogs, I suddenly identified there was a bit of a theme going on, and, and based on that theme, that actually this could evolve into a book possibly, and 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 it did, and hence we now have the lazy blogger. So the book is for project managers then. Absolutely. Um, it's a whole series of, of short, short stories, if you like, short blogs uh, aimed very much at lessons to be learned for project managers. Yeah. What exactly will they learn from it? Um, it's come about really it's sort of, I would say, gentle reminders for project managers. It's, you know, it's all the usual things. You know, it's communication, it's risk, it's, uh, it's change control, etc. But triggered um, in a very gentle way by my experiences of, of traveling, traveling personally and traveling in work. Um, <clears throat> so it's all about travel by land, by air, by sea. And, uh, and each of those sections have a number of stories. And the stories, uh, you know, they, they, they're experiential t- stories. And the fact that something happened to me while I was driving my car that made me think of, which means actually it reinforced a lesson that I've learned regarding project management. And that's kind of the connection between the two, travel and project management. So how much does this book cost and what are you going to do with the money? Uh, the book costs three pound fifty. Uh, I should clearly say it is an ebook. It's a PDF uh, only. It's not a printed version. Uh, what am I going to do with the money? Well, the vast majority, guaranteed three pound minimum, will go to a charity, and the charity is Cancer Research. Um, so the the fifty p is just for uh, PayPal fees and a small amount of admin. But apart from that, guaranteed three pound per book uh, will go to the Cancer Research Fund. Yeah, what was the inspiration behind writing the book and, and doing it this way and giving all the money, basically, away to charity? Um, well, I've, I wrote The Lazy Project Manager. It's been, a, it's been a great success, which is fantastic. I'm moving on to my, my second book, which is all going to be about uh, uh, leading successful PMOs. And at the same time, I was doing the blogs. And, and something triggered in me that, uh, I don't know, it's, I mean, you, you write a certain amount of of text it feels like i'm on my way to another book and i just felt i needed to get this out of the way before i could concentrate on the on the second proper book if you like or, or third book actually as it's turned out um so i did some work on this and i i extended some of the blogs i did some more research i brought in some more stories and and really that came together as a book um 
it's you know it's twenty five thousand words. It's not the biggest one in the world. Um, you know, has it has it would it exist in its own right as a standalone book on a bookshelf, uh, possibly. But I thought you know I've written it. I want to do something you know useful with it. Um, and then you know we're coming up to the holiday season uh, and all the rest of it. And the, you know and and people are you know, are very being very generous to me. I thought hey. Why not do do something this way, which is you know you know not just to bypass and, and provide on sort of the royalties, but let's let me self publish it and deliver the you know, the vast majority of of the money to a good cause, and I uh, elected cancer research. What's your favourite story in the book? Yeah, I, I can tell you this, Cornelius, because the house is empty now. Um, it's it's a it's called texting is not communicating, um, <laughs> and it's you know I do text, but only very occasionally. Uh, my wife texts all the time. It's all about this this experience of where you're sitting next to someone in a car, say, and the phone goes off, a little beepy beep noise. Uh, you know, my wife or and other people do it. You know, they look at it, they 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 laugh or they comment or something like that, or maybe they text back. They put the phone down. And they say nothing. It's like it's, it's there's kind of almost been an intrusion <laughs> going on with that communication. And so I guess it's all about the fact that uh, this leads on to me talking about you know, proper and effective communication actually requires uh, a, lo- a lot more and a lot of sharing and, and you know, not getting technical. But, you know, it's, it's all about the, the fact that people have to really hear the message and reinforce the message and make sure the message is, is provided in, a, in an appropriate manner. So you, you can see the way this works. You know, a little bit of a personal story leads on to something very pertinent in the world of project management right and of course the most important question is where can people go to buy the book and by buying the book learn something about project management and support cancer research okay well they can go to my website which is www.thelazyprojectmanager.com um, you can either go to the online store immediately or if there will be a cancer research icon on the front screen just click on that and it'll take you straight through to the uh, the store and you'll be able to buy it it's line item number one three pound fifty as i said at least three pound will go to charity and uh, hopefully we'll be successful peter thank you very much for coming back onto the program Good luck with the book, and thank you very much for donating everything to charity. My pleasure. Thank you. And that's the story behind Peter Taylor and the Lazy Project Blogger. So once again, we are giving away 20 copies of his book. 10 go to our premium listeners and 10 go to the listeners of the free project management podcast. Stop by at facebook.com slash PM podcast, leave a comment, and that will give you a chance to enter and win your very own copy. Until next time.